Hi everyone, uh, I wanted to do a video on something that I've been wanting to sort of talk about and discuss for a very long time so I thought I'm going to do just a quick um, introduction to that topic um, and obviously you can probably tell by the title what the video is going to be about and it's clean your blade or clean your equipment the reason I say this is because I see I've been watching a lot of um, videos in the lab and so on um, I have some video. I have video. I have YouTube on. When I'm in, working in the lab and so on, and I often see a lot of people who are going outdoors. Now I don't know what they're doing off camera, so I could probably be just sort of um, hype it, a little bit of hype. But um, I have seen other occasions where I've actually physically seen people on on camera on video do something that I thought, oh, they shouldn't really be doing that, and it's mainly associated with blades. Um, or the knife section or the scissors section when you use your blade you must always clean it because I've seen a lot of people do that I've seen a lot of people um, use their knife on their either their multi-tool or a, a field knife or a dedicated knife if they have like a, a carving knife or something but I've seen them use it for other occasions as well so I've seen people sort of you know cut wood with this knife uh, prepare game with the knife with their knife, I mean, it doesn't have to be a multi-tool knife. It can be, a, you know, any type of knife, but their main tool. So I've actually seen them, you know, sort of, um, what is it called, feathering wood. And then perhaps using the same knife um, to prepare their meal. And they've just sort of either wiped it off or uh, they've, you know, they've washed it in water or something. But a lot of the time, people just tend to not even wipe it or wash it in water. And that is extremely, extremely dangerous. When you're out in the field or if you're out anywhere, never use the knife for two things, one after the other, unless your knife is properly washed. And when I say um, your knife is properly washed, I don't just mean the cutting edge. I also mean I also mean the blade part, and if it's a folding knife, the inside of the um, handle as well. Uh, see if I have it here, sorry. No, I don't have it. Oh, yes, I do. I have my other Gerber here, which is just a single blade knife. So, the inside of the blade must also, the inside of the handle must also be washed. And the reason for this is that there have been a number of cases um, going into hospital in uh, the UK and the USA where uh, campers have gone out and um, they've, you know, they've done whatever people do in camping and they've come back with very, very bad stomach problems. Now, Luckily for them, they have we we have exceptional uh, medical aid in the in the UK and in the USA um, from videos that I have seen. So I cannot really speak for other countries, but you know, um, but th luckily they have been saved. But I was watching an I was watching a um, case on uh, forensic files. Um, I have I as part of my work in the lab deals with a little bit of forensics, um, nothing to do with criminal forensics, just sort of the, how things break and so on but I was I, I like watching forensics files because it gives me sort of like ideas to improve my own knowledge so I was watching a case where a scout in the USA um, he went on a camping trip with his friends and his Swiss army knife he um, was cooking something a piece of meat or something and he, there was like a little bit of pe piece of meat that he just dropped and um, he had actually used his Swiss army knife to cut the meat before it went on now I'm sure you can criticize him but he I mean he's just a child but I've seen adults do it as well um, and after the seven day trip after he when he went home he had a really really bad um, a virus in his stomach and it almost became life-threatening and it, it took maybe the CDC and a lot of government agencies to actually work out what was going wrong and sent a um, uh, immunology and uh, disease and biological disease and so on um, basically what it boiled down to is that he, he had his knife had touched unclean meat and uh, um, uncooked meat and some sort of liquid from the meat uh, be it part of blood or water or whatever had um, gone into the um, the hilt uh, I think it's the hilt whatever this part is called sorry I don't always know the technical terms so into the folding part of the Swiss Army knife, and then when he had used it for other things and other uh, and eating even dry stuff, and because it was raining, it, the the toxins sort of just kind of leaked into um, 
onto the blade and onto his things. Now that might be luckily that he survived, but he did. He does actually have some. He has uh, uh, physical side effects now from that physical damage as well. Uh, but very luckily he survived that. Um, but you may say that's an extreme case. However, I have actually seen many people repeat very very similar mistakes. Um, I've seen people not wash their hands. Now I've also seen a lot of other people do this. They've in the field uh, when they're talking about mushrooms, they might use their mora knife uh, to cut a mushroom. Now I'm I am completely layman. I don't know mushrooms. Okay. Now if you touch a mushroom, but what I do know about mushroom is that they all mushrooms, be they edible or non-edible, um, be they poisonous or non-poisonous, they have an oil over their skin, like we get oily skin. Um, they have an oil. They have an oily skin. Now, if that oil gets onto your blade, even if you wipe the blade, but when you fold it, there is still a potential of that uh, oil being transferred onto the inside and then sort of leaking back on. You should really clean your knife, and and you need need to um, do some research. And if you're touching some sort of mushrooms, you need to find what type of cleaner you need to use to clean your knife and carry that with you. Again, it might sound excessive, but I think it's extremely important. It's part of your knife to keep your knife clean, hygienic. And the reason that is because your knife is useless if you are if you are paralyzed or if you have exceptional diarrhea in the field because of um, using a knife that has an oil on it from say a mushroom or some other plant that you've touched. Um, so you know if you end up with any medical condition in the field your knife is not going to help you frankly. Um, now I know, I know a lot of people would disagree with that but you know just think about it from my point of view so from a sort of a scientific point of view from a disabled um, outgoers point of view if I did that then I would probably and I'm going to be brutally honest with you on camera nothing's being cut I would be dead you know I would die I would perish because if I couldn't get a mobile phone signal and I didn't have my sat phone with me or the battery had run out or and you know I had encountered some sort of you know excessive stomach problem or a skin reaction um, who would help me if I was on my own you know who would help me so if I can become that, you know, if I, if from a scientific point of view where we're sort of, it's drilled into us to sort of clean everything and just, you know, go over the top with making every sure that everything is too standard and above that, um, you know, even a professional can make a mistake. So, you know, being fair and open, there is a potential that other people who go out into the field can make this mistake. So I wanted to warn you about that. Now, obviously, I'm not being very articulate, but I, but I am very, very sure that you will understand what I'm trying to say. Um, if you are going into the field, I would highly recommend that you have a separate knife just for food. And only use that knife not to forage food, but to prepare food. And what that means is that you, once you have... Um, if you need to forage food, then fine. But you must wash it before you use that knife on that food. And then afterwards use high heat and high boi um, high temperature um, boiling water to clean that knife and if you have some sort of um, non-biological type of detergent with you to really clean the inside and all the catches of the knife. I would also recommend not to have a wooden handled knife for anything that may where the blade might become contaminated. Uh, I'm not a fan of wooden handles in the field. Again, I will get criticism for that. But, again, for this reason, I am not a fan. So, I hope this little um, sort of soundbite helps you, gives you some ideas to um, adapt your own equipment, adapt your own protocols when you're out in the field and to really look after you. Because I really, I really felt that I wanted to share this with you. I really couldn't find any other similar video. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place has happened but um, I really wanted to share it with you that you know clean your equipment and before you go out into, into the field uh, or any expedition or be it a scientific expedition or uh, which I'm used to or you know any other type of expedition just do some research on being able to um, clean and maintain your equipment and not just keep it sharp and keep you know all your machetes sharp and all that even your machete I mean if that touches something a poisonous um, you know anything poisonous uh, or any type of animal 
um, or contaminated animal and you use that on food or you or you touch the blade and then you do, and you just sort of clean your hands even with water the, the toxins are still on your skin so if that finger then goes anywhere near your anything that you're eating or it touches a, an open wound or anything that's it you are you have been effect, uh, infected with what whatever toxin was on the blade so be very very careful um it's for your own good it's for the good of your expedition it's for the good for your of your family it's also good for the lives of the search and rescue people because at the end of the day people always say um you know it's their job well yeah okay but you know they are human beings um they have families so there's no need to put them in you know adverse danger just because you've done something jackass you know if if it's a pure accident, then yeah, you know, it's it's an accident, learn from it. But I think this is a great opportunity to learn now, so that bef when you go on to an expedition, you can also teach other people. And that's what expeditions are about, teaching, learning and teaching, learning and teaching, and that's how you develop your skill. Um, so I hope that helps, and um, share your experiences and let me know what, what um, protocols that you have for cleaning certain types of blades or when they've touched a certain type of thing, how you, how you uh, clean them. I'd really love to know because I'd love to improve my knowledge as well. I'd like to learn from you. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you on some further videos. Thank you. Bye.